Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the Crossman 2289G Backpacker Air Rifle. Uh, some quick specifications, it has a 14 inch barrel with a 30 inch total length, it weighs approximately 1.1 kilograms, so it's quite light, um, it's bolt action with no magazine, and it's a breech loader, so it makes it fairly slow to um, use also because it's a pump type, not a brake barrel or precharge pneumatic. Uh, in terms of philosophy of use, this rifle is for if you're going to be backpacking or hiking a long distance and you don't want to lug around, uh, you know, a seven pound rifle. Um, this thing is only going to be good for small game hunting or pest control, um, but also for compact lightweight target shooting. So if you want to practice uh, biathlon uh, type stuff without actually needing to set up targets uh, in an area where you can actually discharge firearms. Um, not quite the same, but still, some degree of realism. Uh, some main features I'm going to go through from the back of the air rifle to the front. Starting from the back, uh, this is a removal stock with uh, pistol grip plates that you can get. Um, one thing to note that there is a slight wobble to this, but when you're actually holding this weapon to uh, fire, it's not an issue. But regardless, to remove the grip, there's a small pin here show you better. Depress and remove. And there's a threaded hole here with uh, machine screws and the two plates for each side of the uh, air rifle. And to put the stock back on, it's quite easy as well. Um, so moving on, here's the trigger. Trigger feels quite nice. Um, I think it's brass, so it's not going to corrode too much. Uh, in terms of its uh, feel, feels nice. It, uh, it's not quite a uh, hair trigger, but it's pretty close. Um, safety is a plastic safety. It doesn't feel cheap. It actually feels quite nice, but it's not metal. Um, the breech here itself is plastic. However, I have purchased the steel breech upgrade kit for this uh, air rifle. Now the main disadvantage to this, ste uh, sorry, the plastic breech, is that you can see there's nothing to mount any sort of uh, scope or optics on. With this steel breech kit, which cost me fifty dollars approximately, you have a uh, dovetail rail here. Um, in addition, you get a slightly nicer uh, bolt handle. And actually, more about the bolt itself, it's a brass bolt. Not much force to actually cock it and. You can actually uncock it like that. Uh, regardless, quite nice feel to it. Um, in terms of loading, you actually have to insert the pellets from this end. It is a uh, breech loader. Um, anyway, so that is the bolt and breech section. Moving onwards, we have the rear sight here. Um, it's just a blade style sight. It has um, elevation and windage adjustments using set screws. Um, not very convenient at all, I will say, but since I have the steel breech kit, um, that's not going to be an issue for me. But for anyone else that does buy this air rifle, um, or has it in a stock configuration, um, this is something to watch out for. Uh, also, I've noticed that the set screws are kind of, uh, well, kind of crappy. They go into plastic. The plastic isn't cheap either, but you can strip the plastic and that could spell disaster because then you can no longer uh, lock your sight in place. And also you're going to be hitting it with your hand uh, or your glove when you're uh, manipulating your bolt. So this isn't the greatest thing. Um, anyways, so after the rear sight I have written down the pump handle itself. Uh, this pump handle extends all the way out here. And actually it takes quite a bit of force to close uh, out of the box. Um, because it extends this far forward, you actually can't attach any sort of bipod to this. But, because it's so light, you don't need so much support for it, even in prone, unsupported shooting. Um, also, I have heard reports of this pin here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, right here. Um, loosening after lots of usage. You should be able to push it back into place with a pair of pliers or maybe a rubber mallet. Um, we'll see in a couple months whether or not this um, holds up. But otherwise, the uh, stock itself has a very nice feel to it. 
and when you've uh, shouldered it, it um, handles quite nicely. Uh, last but not least, we have at the front of the air rifle a fiber optic sight, um, as well as a bit of a um, barrel guard for the very front so you don't scratch it or uh, get too much debris in it. Um, I've heard also reports of this part coming unglued and this sight becoming misaligned. Um, I honestly don't know whether or not I'm going to be leaving the uh, front sight on once I actually get the steel bolt in place, but we'll see. Um, otherwise, having fired this rifle and done maybe two strings of ten with it, um, thoughts on it? It feels solid, it's very lightweight, so I like it for its use. I'm going to go on long hikes with it um, and uh, consider hunting, but only if uh, necessary. But also target shooting as well. Get a few uh, pop cans or a soup can and just try and aim for it. Um, another problem is the stock itself at the back has no rubber to it. It's got ridges here, um, but it is kind of hard on the shoulder. There is no recoil with this air rifle, but just a small nitpick. Um, otherwise, the main strength of this air rifle is that it's super lightweight. I'm holding it with one finger right now. Um, this thing weighs almost nothing. The main weakness or drawback to this is that it takes ages to uh, pump up. You can put ten pumps into this, um, and it's also a single action as well, so it takes um, quite a bit of time to reload for another shot. If you do hunt for small game with this, um, and well, if you uh, unfortunately miss and only wound the animal, um, it's going to take you a long time to actually reload for another shot, and that would be quite inhumane to the animal, so uh, personally, this is his main drawback. But otherwise, um, for lightweight target shooting, and if you want to go on long hikes and uh, target shoot that way, this is the uh, air rifle for you. But pretty much this is uh, my review on it.